This video is for educational purposes only. Use OSINT responsibly. OSINT, open source intelligence, is how you reclaim power. It's about following the digital breadcrumbs everyone leaves behind. Today, we'll peel back the layers of this illusion, one trick at a time. Google dorking. Sounds harmless, but it's a master key. Google has indexed the world. Most people just ask for coffee shops, we ask for secrets. Operators are the language. Suddenly, you're reading internal reports, not just press releases. A simple query can reveal login pages, directory listings, configuration files. You're not hacking, you're just looking where no one else bothers. They rely on obscurity, on you being too distracted to notice. We combine operators. Sometimes the machine answers with secrets. Before you code, before you exploit, you look, you gather. You become a ghost in their machine, learning its every hum. They built the library. We're just reading the books they tried to hide. This is the first step to seeing the world as it is. The world is mapped. You just need to know how to read it. Every search is a handle to jiggle, a door to test. Let's start opening them. A picture is more than a thousand words. It's a map, a timestamp, a network. Every image online is a breadcrumb. Reverse image search, Google Images, TinEye, Yandex, are digital bloodhounds. Feed them a photo, and they find every place it's been. That dating app profile? You might find their LinkedIn, Facebook, or blog. You see the masks, the inconsistencies, the lies. Each instance of an image is a puzzle piece. You trace a photo's journey across the web, building a network of connections. An activist's protest photo, a CEO's headshot, Reverse search exposes the history they want to forget. It's digital archaeology. We're pattern seekers, tracing echoes. An image is a thread. Pull it, and you unravel stories. It's not magic. It's just data and curiosity. They provide the image. We follow it back to its source. Every photo is a confession, waiting to be read. Are you ready to pull the thread? Every file has a shadow. Metadata. EXIF, the digital DNA of a file, tells a story the image can't. Download a photo, look under the surface camera model, creation date, editing software, a DSLR or a cheap phone, Photoshop or default app. Each detail is a clue. Metadata doesn't lie. Even if they scrub it, fragments remain. It's not just photos. Word docs, PDFs, audio files all have ghosts. A PDF might reveal the author's name, the original file path, even a project folder. Sometimes a single comment or revision history is left behind. These are the whispers, the secrets machines remember. Most people ignore metadata. We don't. We listen for the details they forget to erase. A name, a folder, a timestamp. Each is a window into their world. They think they're sending a clean file. They're not. The truth is in the shadows. All you have to do is look beneath the surface. Listen closely. The code always whispers. Social media. The great stage. Everyone performs. But we're the audience that sees through the act. Every post, like, comment, and tag is a data point. Who are their friends? What groups? What events? They give it all away. Correlate across platforms. The guarded LinkedIn, the reckless Reddit, the revealing Pinterest. Build a composite sketch from names, emails, usernames. Look at photo backgrounds. Books, posters, landmarks, reflections. Habits emerge. Same coffee shop, same morning tweet, same complaints. These aren't random posts, they're patterns of life. They build their own prison of predictability, handing you the blueprint. Watch patiently. The performance always slips. The real person is always revealed. All you have to do is pay attention. Email feels private, but it's not. Every message carries a trail, headers mapping its journey. Hidden by default, headers reveal the sender's mail server, every hop, sometimes even a location. An IP address can anchor a message to a physical place. Then there are tracking pixels, tiny invisible spies. Open the email, and your device tells the sender when, where, and on what device you read it. Marketers use this to track engagement. We use it to confirm activity, location, and timing. It's a silent conversation between machines. You think you're just reading text, but your computer is talking behind your back. Every email is a map, every pixel a signal. The sealed envelope is an illusion. They opened the letter and told you everything. The digital trail is always there. All you have to do is follow it. Every website is a piece of property, and every property has a deed, Woiz. Woiz is the internet's phone book, revealing owners, dates, and contact info. 
Most assume this is private. It's not. Even privacy protection tells you something. They're hiding. Roy's records change. Look at the history. Maybe their real info was exposed for a day. One mistake, one crack, and you have a name, an address, an email. Correlate. Is that email used elsewhere? A forum? A social profile? Another domain? Each thread connects to another piece of their digital empire. The internet never forgets. It all starts with a simple question. Who owns this? The answer is often just a search away. Pull the thread, and the web unravels. Ownership is never as hidden as they think. Shodan maps the internet's backbone, not websites but devices. Webcams, routers, servers, even traffic lights. If it's online, Shodan finds it. It grabs banners, device type, software version, vulnerabilities. Search for, thousands of unsecured cameras appear. Filter by country, city, IP, or vulnerability. It's a shopping list for hackers, but it's just reconnaissance. Corporations connect everything for convenience, but forget security. Default passwords, outdated firmware, Shodan exposes it all. This isn't hacking, it's seeing the attack surface of the world. The exposed nerves of our hyper-connected world are visible to anyone who looks. Security is an afterthought, Shodan is the consequence. The world's devices are shouting their secrets. Metadata can betray a location, geolocation in XIF data. GPS coordinates embedded in a photo can reveal a home, a workplace, a secret spot. Someone posts a cat photo, their phone's location services were on. The image holds the exact latitude and longitude. Download, extract, plug into Google Maps. Now you have a satellite view of their life. Journalists use this to verify conflict zones. We use it to track targets. A business trip, a garage sale, each photo can reveal a physical address. People share without thinking, addicted to validation. They don't check settings, don't understand the tech. Their phone is a tracking device, and they publish its data daily. We watch, map, and connect digital lives to physical ones. One geotagged photo at a time, the illusion of privacy shatters. The photograph always confesses. Your data isn't safe, breaches happen, and millions of accounts are dumped online. Services like, have I been pawned? Make these breaches searchable. Enter an email, and you see every breach it's appeared in. Adobe, LinkedIn, forgotten forums. It's a map of digital history, interests, habits, even secrets. If their email is in a breach from a dating site or political forum, that tells you more. Each breach is a chapter in their online story. Passwords? Most are hashed, but weak ones can be cracked. People reuse passwords, so an old breach can unlock new doors. The skeleton key to their life is forged from past carelessness. Breaches are treasure troves for the curious. The internet never forgets a mistake. Their past is always within reach. All you need is a single email. People are lazy and vain. They reuse usernames everywhere. That unique handle becomes their digital signature. Username enumeration. Take one name, find every account tied to it. Tools like Sherlock or what is my name automate the hunt. The result? A list of profiles, forums, social media, gaming, even old MySpace pages. Each profile adds a layer to their digital identity. You see their interests, social circles, and forgotten selves. It's about connecting the islands, bridging their fragmented online life. One username is a master key. Their desire to stand out makes them trackable. Vanity becomes vulnerability. The more unique the name, the easier the hunt. Their digital trail is always visible. 10 keys. 10 ways to see behind the curtain. This isn't secret knowledge. It's about paying attention. The data is there shimmering beneath the surface. They built the system, left the back doors open. We just use the tools to find the truth. With great power comes great responsibility. Use these tricks wisely. The point isn't to destroy, but to understand the system that controls us all. See the bars of the cage, only then can you break free. What's your favorite OSINT trick? Drop a comment and subscribe for more. Stay vigilant.